Rice, a crop that sustains half of the world population, is produced from the vast fields of paddy. The production of rice needs processing in rice mills, what produces the rice husk. This rice husk has been previously considered a wasteful product. Historically, these were considered a burden to manage due to its huge production. Today, we're diving deep into incredible opportunities of rice husk applications. Rice husk is a very unique plant-based material that is abnormal for a plant-based product. Its composition consists of cellulose, hemicellulose, lignin, protein, and ash that has extremely high silica content. The same properties that previously thought to be valueless turns out to be a gold mine. Academicians, scientists, and business people have seen the unrealized potential and they are developing methods to transform them into valuable commodities. Now, let's get started with all the valuable applications of rice husk. Around 50 to 60 percent of the rice husk produced in the world is burned, for use like generating steam, firing brick cleans, in power plants and for household cooking. However, these burners have a problem of partial burning, high smoke emission and burns at non-uniform temperature. Burning of rice husk is useful as it produces energy, half of that of fossil fuel sources, and is carbon neutral renewable source. If dust and smoke suppression can be done, then it will be much better. Also, the burning of rice husk is slow, so powdering it or making it in briquettes is useful. Mixing rice husk with sawdust can be useful to make a solid product of high density, uniformity, and lower moisture that burns easily. For effective burning and to produce high-quality rice husk ash, research shows that bubbling fluidized bed combustion is the best method. Another application of rice husk is in gasification and electricity generation. Gasification is combustion of any fuel, whether municipal solid waste or biomass like rice husk in limited air without external energy. The main product of gasification is syngas, and secondary product is biochar in small quantity. The syngas mostly consists of hydrogen, carbon monoxide and methane which can directly be converted to electricity, or it can also be used for industrial processes. Since, it is a viable option to produce energy and biochar, many gasification plants are now in operation. A rough estimation is, one ton of rice husk can produce 1,000 units of electricity and biochar is also produced as side product. Rice husk can also be used as a low-cost feedstock for the production of bioethanol. The process of ethanol production is fermentation and purification, then blending with conventional fuel to make working biofuel. Bioethanol from rice husk has better quality, burns faster, evaporates more easily, and cause lesser air pollution. The pretreatment of rice husk before fermentation is needed. This can be done by enzymatic hydrolysis or other methods. Without pretreatment, the ethanol production will be very less, which is less than 20%. With pretreatment, the yield of ethanol can be up to 90%. Countries like India has taken initiative to mix bioethanol with fuel to reduce carbon footprint and to minimize cost. This bioethanol is in great demand because of its environmental friendliness. Rice husk has applications in agriculture with the production of biochar. It is estimated that 20 to 30 percent of the rice husk produced in the world are made as biochar. Rough estimate is, 100 kilograms of rice husk can produce 35 kilograms of biochar. Biochar produced with gasification is good for its phosphorus and potassium content. Up to 10% use of this biochar in soil can provide good nutrient and reduces the acidity. Biochar is mostly carbon with some nutrients, but plant does not take carbon from root, but instead plant consumes carbon through carbon dioxide present in air. Basically, the main work of carbon in biochar is that the small pores in carbon can hold the nutrients, microbes and also conditions the soil. Hence, other nutrients like compost and manures should also be mixed with the biochar 
to produce biochar with good nutrient content. Alternatively, direct pyrolysis or gasification of rice husk with other food waste can also be done to improve the nutrient content in the produced biochar. Another application of rice husk is for making compost and as a substrate. Direct composting of rice husk is a slow process due to their higher lignin content. So, vermicomposting with other food waste or manure is a good option that will be ready in about four months. This can be mixed with soil or used as a substrate in garden pots. Adding a small amount of rice husk directly to the soil is good for aeration and drainage. However, using a large quantity is not ideal because the microbes will consume the available nitrogen in the soil to break down the rice husks, leaving plants without enough nitrogen. To maintain a healthy soil, it's important to keep a good balance of carbon to nitrogen ratio. When directly applying rice husks to the soil, it's important to add nitrogen with adding manure or food waste. Another application of rice husk is animal feed and livestock bedding. Rice husk is low in protein and its digestibility is also low. It is also not very appetizing to animals. But, rice husk can be mixed in smaller quantities up to 15% with other food materials as a source of fiber and some nutrients. Grinding of rice husk to powder and steaming it improves the quality of rice husk as a feed material. Also, rice husk can be used as a good bedding material because it stops smells by absorbing it, stays dry due to its good drainage, does not compact, and keep the animals warm due to its good insulating properties. Rice husk is also very cheap and abundantly available, which is also resistant to mold and fungi. The rice husk after its use for bedding can be used as a compost due to its addition of nutrients with urine and feces of animals. But salt content in it may become high, so salt content should be checked before using it. In recent years, the use of rice husk for insulation, husk boards and panel making and for making kitchenware are becoming so much popular. Rice husk is great for making panel boards and kitchenware, because it resists termites as well as fungus due to its high silica content, and the products made are strong and durable. For making panel board, powdered rice husk is mixed with resin to make a product that can have endless applications. A complex process of making panel board can look like this. For making kitchenware, the general composition is 80% of powdered rice husk fiber mixed with natural starch lignin that helps to bind the rice husk. Compressing this mix in custom mold makes kitchenwares. Several single-use and multi-use kitchenware are being made and sold at a good price. Another application of rice husk is for producing amorphous silica. The application of rice husk is most promising for its high amorphous silica content reaching up to 90% in rice husk ash, but quality control needs to be maintained. This amorphous silica has diverse applications, as discussed in a separate video that you can also check later. For the production of high-quality amorphous silica, it's crucial to burn the rice husk at a consistent temperature below 700 degrees Celsius. The husk ash produced then undergoes acid treatment to remove dissolved impurities and carbonates. Afterward, rice husk ash is dissolved in caustic, and the addition of acid leads to the precipitation of amorphous silica. It is then washed and dried out to obtain high-quality, powdered amorphous silica. It's worth noting that open heat burning tends to produce ash with high carbon content with non-uniform burning. The creation of amorphous silica with a high value and unique product that sells at high prices needs quality control. Yes, it is true. The rice husk is also used in aerial fireworks, in firing aerial shells. The rice husks are coated with black powder, which helps to lift the shell and to burst the shell in the sky without breaking the star balls inside. Making these black powder rice husk is very simple. Just coat the rice husk with black powder and a binder 
and you get a sturdy, light, and fast-burning burst powder. Typically, it is used in the ratio of 7 to 1. 7 parts black powder to 1 part rice husks. The rice husk is also used in alcohol brewing industry. Rice husk added at around 5% during brewing, improves beer quality without altering its taste. Rice husk enhances filtration to efficiently extract sugar from the malt, called as loudering, and prevents clumping of mix as thicker mash will be difficult to filter. In simple words, it helps to filter the sugar from the mix without imparting its own taste to beer produced. It has further known applications that includes glazing of ceramic products, a substrate for mushroom production, in hydroponics or soil-less system, as a therapeutic pillow stuffing. The major opportunities includes its being carbon neutral, renewable, abundant, and cheaply available, and the main challenges being its gaseous emissions, infrastructure and market development, and management of it in quality and in quantity also. Rice husk has many uses, and ongoing innovations will make it even more valuable in the future. Once considered waste that was hard to deal with, it now has a wide range of versatile applications, leading to a more sustainable future. Rice, and rice husk is truly a gift from nature to the humanity.